what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? It looks like Oprah may be entering the first stage of her dun 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 nigger moment. Fam, Oprah has a new Apple series show called The Oprah Conversation. In that conversation, she spoke candidly about white privilege. She said that while a white person may not be as powerful as the system of white supremacy, they still have their whiteness. And therefore, they have white privilege. And man, the conservatives were quick, not just the conservatives, the liberals too. Because you know, they are two wings on the same plane. Yeah, came after. What do you mean, white privilege? Is that how you became a billionaire? Oops, my bad. How can she say something like that? She's used white women for years to make her a billionaire, and now she's crying about white privilege? There's no such thing as white privilege. I've never heard a group of people in such denial in my life. I've never seen people, in fact, let me back up. They're not in denial, just flat out, just tell lies, right? Because they're very cognizant of their privilege and they will use it and they know they can use it, right? But if they get called out on it, they just don't want you calling them out. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. It's like somebody having a bad attitude and you say, man, you got a bad attitude. What do you mean, man? I, you know, I'm a good person. I'm a decent person. Nah, man. You got a bad attitude. People don't like to be called out. I suspect that Oprah, Oprah decided that she was going to throw the black folks a bone after she clowned R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, dead man and her good friend Russell Simmons I think after she got dragged she was trying to slide back in on the black side throw us something yeah yeah Oprah that is the truth because it ain't like she lied right everybody knows she's telling the truth but people don't like being offended right so she told the truth. She finally called it what it was. She said it. Oh, now, Oprah, oh, she's too big. She got too big for her panties. <laughs> so they're talking about, they're mad at her like she told a lie. That's the trip part. Now, I'm not even defending her. I, I refuse to defend her. I refuse. I knew that this was coming. You knew it was coming. Everybody knew it was coming. Because it always happens like that. White supremacy always discards its tools when they're done with them. And right now, they're not quite done with Oprah, right? Oprah did something very slick that I saw many, many years ago. She positioned pieces, human beings, white human beings in key positions in her company, made them producers, executives, put them in upper management to serve as sort of like a buffer so if somebody come after her, they'll fight for her and they're going to fight for her. They will fight valiantly for her. I can guarantee you. 
They're going to come after Oprah, but it won't be that easy to knock her down. But they are going to make her feel their wrath. She will feel it. But she'll recover. You know, it's a lot easier to recover when you're worth a couple billion and you're, you got TV shows and you got production companies and you got all of these other celebrities and stars that you're connected to. And, you know, you didn't commit a crime. Like, well, I guess she did kind of commit a crime, didn't she? She, she told the truth and shamed the devil. You know, the truth is a, is a crime in a world of lies. But Oprah, finally getting it. How bad do y'all think it's going to get? I think that she's definitely going to lose something. I don't think it'll be that bad, like I said, because she got pieces in place to help her fight this off. And... All she has to do is do an interview with, I don't know, a white person. She's going to go do a major interview with somebody like Barbara Walters or somebody like that who perhaps agrees with her. Somebody that has credibility in the white community. It'll be a liberal. And she's going to apologize for telling the truth. And then all will be forgotten. Like I say, right now, it'll be harder to cancel her because she has that television station. And it's so many people that's working, that's eating off of her brand. It'll be hard to take that down. And she's not the first black person, prominent black person to actually claim that white people have white privilege. Uh, you know, so it's not as big of a deal as they're saying the big deal is that Oprah is saying it. And Oprah has never bitten the hand that fed her all of these years. Oh, she's thrown black people under the bus many times, but she has never bitten the hand that feeds her. And that is white women. But she has enough white women on her team that are powerful, that'll fight her battle for her. She'll be all right. I was hoping not. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about?